Task me to write about uh, the day I will never forget. Uh, I remember I wrote about the day nine March. Yeah, when you come before the children of God, then you just feel discomfortable. There is something that just tells you you can run from any other end. Just because your heart will be throbbing. In spite of that, uh, just the stanza of number, the third stanza of 136. Topic today. Citizen, stay on the line. Uh, stay on the line. Stay on the line. Stay on the line. If I remember, one of these days, when Jesus was about to ascend to heaven, and they asked him, Master, 
How do we know that you will be coming for the second time? What are the signs that you would be coming for the second time? Matthew chapter 24 verse 7. Look that you are not made to look back. Be careful that you don't offer him. When I shall come, yes, you will be here about the rumors of war. You will be here about the earthquakes. There will be great famines. Uh, brethren, when Jesus is speaking to his disciples, before he would come, if I would come, nothing will ever happen that I will come before yes, this thing happen. In other words, brethren, Jesus will not come until this sign of the Jesus will not come unless there is a great famine. If I would remember, well, there is another country. There was some great famine in that country. There was some great famine like you have never witnessed before. In that country, there was somebody who was an Adventist. He had two children. As the famine raged on with his children, when the famine hit hard, the father tries all he could just to make sure he's able to fend for his family. He would go in the streets just to find something to make ends meet. He would go to friends just to make ends meet. He would go into the family members at last the families and the friends gave up. How would you come to us when this family is eating everything? He was so troubled. He sat down. How would it continue to work when I continue being in such a country? How would it work for me to remain in such a country? And then he came up with a plan. And then he says to his children, just as you can see, as you are seeing, I have just decided that I go somewhere to a far away place. As he tells his children, the children look at him and they are troubled. And tears begin to fall. And then, and then they ask him, what will happen of us? And as the children were troubled, as they remain troubled and their father has this to say let me read this for you and then he went to John chapter 14 verse 1 and he says yes I will go may your hearts not be troubled believe in me and believe in my father yes I am going I am going to cook for food. And when I get yes, to food, and I will come and take yes, you. And then he reads for them. Yes, I know. Yes, I have caused trouble with his families and friends. We are no longer on the same page with family. But I want you to listen to this. Even when I'm going, you need to know that you are alone. You just need to know that there is no one who cares about you. 
Because all of them, no one, no one would want to see me go in there. And then you read for the verse 18. Listen to this. Because you are in this world, this world would love you. But because you are not of this world, this world doesn't love you. Because it denied me, how would it love you? And then he says to them, Yes, when I'm going, in my going, I would come back after seven days. When after seven days, I hope you would join me after seven days. And by the tell his children, listen to this. You may not know where I'm going. And he says to them, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do one thing. I am going to drop a rope. When I pull the rope, when I'm going, after seven days, you hold on to the rope and follow, you'll find me where I am. My brother ends as the day is passed by. Until the day is seven days. On the seventh day, the children are just waiting. Our dad said after seven days we need to follow up. He said after seven days you need to follow up. So these children then took on the journey and they follow where this rope was going. They were trying to pick up where their dad was. Because the same man continued to hit and no one would help them. It was impossible for them to stay in and no one cared about them. And the only hope they had is that they join up with their dead until they get to their dead. And the children continued with the journey. As they continued with the journey, and they get by the river, a certain river. As they got to that river, it was not easy. It was a big river. As they get in that river, they stopped and they were just looking. How did God dead go there? Is it possible that they had to cross the river? As they were double checking, as they continued looking, and they saw that rope from the end. And they were troubled because it was beyond the river. How are we going to make it to the other side of the river? How are we going to go beyond that? But listen to this. Because of this reason, there were children. They had lands. They had lands. These children, when their hope had been lost, there was one thing that they remembered. One thing that they remembered. And you thought about number 47. <laughs> By faith, by faith, as they were singing this song, and God led them and they crossed the river. This morning, I want to thread to you, I want to come home. As we live in this world, there are moments in our life when you are challenged, you face challenges. I want to speak to someone, somebody who has challenges when a child doesn't have a face. I'm speaking to child support. Where you face some of them. And you no longer understand what's happening. I'm speaking about somebody who could be a new convict. And he looks at the older members. And, and he also sing their life is not right. What do you do when you face such challenges? What do you do when you are facing such challenges? Brother, in this morning, I'm speaking to the children of God who are saved when they are on this journey. 
as they are born as Christians, as they follow the footsteps of Christ, as they follow the footsteps of Christ, and they are faced with challenges, they are faced with the problem, they are trying their best. As they follow their father, and they are not God. When others are getting there, as I speak this morning, there are people who don't have food. What do you do when you come across the church? What do you do when you come across the church? What do you do when you come across the church? What do you do when you come across the church? Uh, when troubles come, what comes into your mind? When trouble comes, what comes into your mind? When day comes, what do you do? When you are faced with death, when you are challenged and you no longer think you are helpless, and maybe I need to approach which doctors because of these challenges is what you are to do when you have no job. You also look for other solutions outside God. So that when I go to companies, do you look for chance? When there is a hunger, we end up dying. Do you leave and look for profits and look for water? Do you go to the office so that you can be able to buy which doctors and prophets? Do you go and seek for which doctors and prophets? Let me tell you this one. If you live like that, one of the sinners says, when he has such a good thing, he sees the number 63. When David writes, he says when he has such challenges, when he has faced with such, when he is faced with such challenges, and David writes, Psalms 21, verse 22, I will lift up my eyes to the hills, and I will look to the hills, that's why my salvation comes. I will lift up my eyes and look in the mountain, for that's where my salvation comes. Brethren, it's not yet done. As we continue on this journey, as they take on this journey, and they follow the new rock, and they follow the rock, and they were still from afar, and they see the green, the green gold, and they see it looking good, as they look beyond the sweet flowering, and they see things are beginning to change. They are now looking to a point of their life which is better. And they continue on this journey. And because that's the direction they were taking, as they, as they go to that place, and they were reached that point, and they went to that body, which was full of flowers, and they went towards the green field. And the song came to their mind. If you can't get your job, it has been long when you look for marriage. You have been looking that your marriage should be fixed. It has been long you have been looking for someone to get married to. For a long time you have been looking for somebody. Uh, but this morning, in this journey, there shall be a time when God when God shall answer our prayers, brothers, there will be a time when God, when he answers our prayers, 
Just think of what you've been asking for. They shall come in time. And God shall answer you. I'm saying you to a God's child. When God answers your prayers, you get your marriage. When God answers your prayers, just somebody who proposes you and somebody sings the song. As I see God is blessing when God has blessed me, and then he is number 201. The song is 201. And he sings. Because that which was crying, and it has been responded to, that which he was asking, and then he sings this song. When things are now yes, yes, we have declared what God has done. When things have worked, don't get to work. You are not yet arrived. Don't be on the last one. We are not yet there. Don't relax. You still need a journey. Don't relax. Because God has started with you. Don't give up. This is what is Remain focused in knowing that we have not yet met our Father. Remember that the gen still continues. God then says, John chapter 17, I don't pray that you are not removed from this world, but my prayer is that keep them in this world. This morning, I'm speaking to God's child. Never relax, even if God is answered your prayers. We are not yet home, as a figgy. As you continue with the journey, and these children look at the greener pastures, we just think that is still around. It is possible that is still around. It looks good. As they were looking around, yes, the journey still continues. And they are troubled that the journey continues. As they continue, where is that? It would seem our, 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 our direction still continues, the footsteps still continues. Because because they are dead and told them where this rope will end. That's where I will be. So as they live and go through this green pasture, they continue with their journey. It will seem it's an uphill, and they continue on. As they continue with the journey, and this is some other place, and they will just go over it then. And this rope continues, and it's now going uphill. And it continues up As they continue on, and they continue to follow the rope, some of them are and they are getting tired, and they get tired, and they are saying, maybe they pull, and they raise their feet. Brother, 
appearance. Sometimes when life is still good, when things are still looking good, there is a time and then some things just disappear. When things get to God, in this chain of our faith, there are some times and challenging times ahead. We are in the last days. When we shall be faced with challenges, the prophecies are God will pour His Spirit. Listen to this. There's a child of God who is still following Christ. Things will be tough. It's not always going to be rosy. It will be tough. So distance particularly is not going to be easy. We're still going up. Life is going up. But it shall be fun. There are going to be challenges when the Sunday law will be Soon and very soon, persecution will come. Unless you have the mark of the beast, there shall be a law very soon. Only those who buy should be having the mark of the beast. Time shall come. Time has come. The children of God, they will persecute the children of God. They will be imprisoned. The time will come. Children of God, it shall be difficult. I pray for this child. It, it should not be happen when the Sabbath is come. It should not be happen. Uh, <laughs> When challenges face us, just remember this. When things are not working, as you sing, this, as you sing nearer at two centuries and close, that will be the time when God, that will be the time when God, we are just nearer home. Psalms chapter 51. Call unto me in your days of trouble, and I will hear you, and I will come and deliver you. This morning, let me tell you this thing. These are the times ahead of us. It will be quite challenging times. We are going into hard times, and things will be difficult. But this is what you need to have. That when you shall call unto God, no matter how the situation is, call unto your God. The journey still continues. As they continue with their journey, as they continue to follow that rock, and the rock continues, it doesn't show that they will be home anytime soon. Nothing is about showing that they will be home soon. Nothing shows that we are always in there. The journey still continues. And the journey continues up. Going through the thorns. As the children continue to follow the rock. As they continue to follow the rock. That's from afar. And they begin to see. They begin to see a wall. As they saw that wall. Bubble, bubble, they were just a little bit. 
And they will begin to feel many dead is just arising. And they want to fast trick and get there as soon as possible. As they get to that wall, they realize, no, this one is a really big wall. It was really very And they try to climb over the wall. And the, the rope is just going over that, that way. And it continues up on that wall. As they were looking, and they see this wall. It's quite high and secure. And there was no way that they, there was also a good place. And they also it was secured on this wall. On top of it. But because their daddy had said we need to follow on this rope, they had to go up in difficult as it was. They were to find their way. Yes. However, they should have got there. Brother, and they were trying to look how they could get over the side so that they could get there. And when we face with these challenges, and they are faced with this, and this reservoir wires and electric fence above them, and how do we go about it? And then they are dead. And he could see from afar, he saw his children. Their dad was the first one to pick up on them. And what he did? And their dad ran for them. And he embraced them. And he embraced his children. And he's able to see his children. The children are tired. They are bleeding, some of them. Because they've been going through the tough times. Their clothes were looking so tattered. And because they went through the challenges, and they went through this challenge, and as their dad looks at them, and he looks at them, and they look at their father, and say, Dad, even so, even so, we did not forget. We did never forget number forty-seven. The last stanza of number forty-seven. Do you know that in this Christian journey, there shall come a time when this problem shall come to an end. A time is coming when all this moaning and crying will come to an end. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. Verse Thessalonians. Verse 40. And the Lord himself shall come with a trumpet sound. Soon and very soon. The time shall come. When we get to heaven, our Father who is in heaven, the Bible says there shall be peace. There shall be some peace and there will be quietness. As they will ask God, and who are these? Who are these? Who God himself is the one who will answer. Because God will be having experience of all He is the only one who can answer that question. He knows the challenges that will be. He is the only one who answers and understands that question. Who are these? And they have the answer. Two thirty-eight. Yeah. 
This Christian John is not an easy one. It's not an easy one. It looks for somebody who moves by faith. And God, allow God to lead you. Allow God to lead you. Psalms chapter 3, verse 5. But joy comes in the morning. Don't worry. As long as you follow the Lord, because of Christ, soon and very soon, this time will come to you. This morning, let me remind you. God, soon and very soon you will appear. And there is only one way to do Those who shall find refuge in you. This morning, may God should give us power. May God give us the power. It won't be easy. It won't be easy. It won't be easy. It won't be easy. As they had reached their destination, there was some quietness. And I remember, as they were singing the last time, Soon and very soon, Christ will appear, and then the devil will destroy it. This morning, this morning, God wants to give you power. As we follow this rock, as we follow this direction, when he tells his disciples, just be, beware that no one should be There will be challenges. Don't allow yourself to offer this morning. We just want to close this, we want to close this sermon. God this morning is looking just one person. He wants to give him power. Anyone who is looking for power. It's possible that you are just coming to church. so weak as and you have become you have become so weak. you don't even know what you're doing uh, this morning God wants to empower you God wants to strengthen you he says put on my yoke for my yoke is easy this morning we just want to pray can you come we want to pray Pray for strength for the children of God. We still follow this change. It's not easy. We are going through challenges this morning. God wants to empower you. God wants to empower his church. 
present this morning. This is my desire. That may God resuscitate our faith. May God strengthen our faith. If there is one who says God, I am weak. It sometimes comes very difficult. Somebody who is saying, I just want to find strength. If there is somebody who wants power, May you stand up as you pray. If there is somebody who just wants to have strength, and you want God to give you strength, stand on your feet as we shall pray. But God wants to strengthen us. It can never be an easy journey. We are looking for Christ. Him alone can strengthen us. It's not going to be easy. May the good Lord bless us abundantly. Is our Sobaco, Anyone Banino <laughs> 